In this video, we're going to be talking about floaters or the little strings, strands, fibers, things that you see in your vision that can be floating around, that kind of weave in and out and cause some visual distractions for you. Floaters, or known as vitreous strands, are these little fibers and strands inside the vitreous humor, which is located inside of your eyeball. The vitreous humor accounts for about 80% of your overall eye shape. So meaning that it gives you about 80% of its inflated shape. The vitreous humor, it's shaped like a jelly and the consistency is like a jelly. So when you're a baby, it's like a clear great jelly inside your eyeballs. As you get older, that vitreous humor turns more water-like and less jelly-like. And as it becomes more water-like, some of the jelly fibers will kind of clump up and stick together. Some people even refer to this as seeing gnats in their vision, seeing flies in their vision, seeing like a rat tail, or just some kind of a little squiggly, or things that kind of just move in and out of the vision just a little bit. The vitreous humor is primarily made up of type 2 collagen as well as vitamin C. Type 2 collagen exists primarily in the bones, teeth, joints, things that are meant to keep strong structure intact. So as the vitreous humor, like we said, gets older, you're going to see more of these floaters occasionally. You can see them in your teens all the way to your 90s. It just kind of depends on how your brain picks up on the little vitreous membrane strands floating around inside your eyeballs. They can take on a variety of shapes, colors, combinations, and frequency as well too. Floaters by themselves are harmless, but there are some concerns we like to look for when it comes to patients seeing floaters for the first time. Making sure that there's not a retinal detachment, a retinal hole, or a retinal tear, or things that could be causing some visual distractions and some potential permanent vision loss. Make sure you check with your eye care professional, optometrist, or ophthalmologist to look for making sure that you don't experience any loss of vision in the periphery, a black curtain veil, or a balloon that's blocking some of your vision that can be symptoms of a retinal detachment, hole, or tear. Now, you can also experience what's known as a posterior vitreous detachment. We typically call this a PVD. This just means as the vitreous humor gets older, it will start to separate and come off from the back of the eyeball, and it will detach in different areas around the optic nerve, around the macula, around the peripheral retina, and you may see some floaters as a result of that. PVDs by themselves are harmless, but it's best to check with your local eye care professional to make sure that when the PVD occurs that it didn't rip open a hole or start a retinal detachment because it's like a really bad hangnail that can rip if it goes into a negative direction. But most of the time, PVDs are harmless by themselves. But it's always good to get it checked out just to be on the safe side. That's what I do and that's what we do. And that's what I recommend for y'all as well, too, that are watching this video, that if you experience any weird phenomenon like that, to check with your local eye care professional. So going back to the floaters, eventually over time, your brain's going to learn to ignore these little floaters. You may see them sometimes on like a more gray, cloudy, or kind of a more boring environment. But there are some things you can do about them occasionally. Um, there are some eye vitamins out there, and there are some studies that can suggest that taking some of these eye vitamins can lower the amount of floaters that you see. There's even one study out there that suggests that if you eat a couple of slices of pineapple each day for several months, it will actually decrease the amount of floaters that you see. Some people notice this. Some people don't notice this. Some people have tried the eye vitamins. It works. Some people have tried it. It does not work for them. So there's not really a bunch of things you can do for floaters. But the best thing is usually just to let your brain ignore it and filter it out because your brain will do some level of suppression to learn to ignore things that it's seeing in regards to floaters in your vision. And the floaters can take on squigglies, pigtails, a whole bunch of different curls, and they kind of move with your vision. If you kind of move your eyes left and right, up and down, different directions, they'll kind of follow you, and that's normal. But if you have any missing sections of vision or blockage of vision or see like thousands of little floaters, like an army of gnats or an army of flies or even an army of locusts, that can be something a little more concerning that you'll want to get this checked out to make sure it's not anything serious. But if it is, to be seen by the right specialist to take care of that problem. The right specialist would usually be the ophthalmologist or retina specialist that can do some certain procedures, lasers, different things of that nature to kind of help seal the areas down. We'll talk about retinal detachments, holes, tears in another video. But that's just some things to go with floaters that you want to be aware of and make sure that you pay attention to, you inform your local eye care professional about, and that you don't just sit on it and wait on it. Because the longer you wait, if there is some weird vision loss or some kind of peripheral blockage or something weird going on, the higher the chances it will be for some kind of permanent vision loss. So again, floaters by themselves are harmless. Make sure you check in with your local eye care professional. 
And it's a jelly in your eyeball that as you get older, turns more water-like and the jelly fibers clump up for what you see as floaters. The floaters are a birthday problem. Again, starting from when you're a baby all the way up to adulthood, the main cause of floaters is aging. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell for notifications. I'm Dr. Bryce Heffington, and we'll see you next time.